Now this is a car that will really beat the petrol price rises. It's electric. It's got enough lithium-ion batteries under here to pack in a punch to drive it along at almost 70 miles an hour. Now that's quite a feat for a little electric car like this. Now what a lot of people ask is how do you charge the thing up? Well it's quite simple really. What you need is one of these and all you have to do is open the petrol flap inside here is an electric socket instead of a petrol filling cap and with this special lead which comes with the car you get this special kind of plug there and that just simply plugs into there when we got the car EDF Energy fitted this special socket to the outside of the house the other end of the lead literally just plugs straight into here it's all completely weatherproofed and safe in any kind of weather conditions. Here there's a little switch, we have to switch that on like that. In the lead here there's a safety feature, it's an RCD breaker. I have to press the on button like that. A light comes on here, it sets the car charging and I can just leave it for a few hours to charge. If you haven't got one of those special sockets in the side of your house, you can use this lead which also comes with a car. It's got a regular domestic type of plug on that end and the plug to plug into the car on that end, uh, plug it in anywhere and away you go. A meter inside the car tells you how much juice you have left in the batteries, so there's no more of an excuse to run out of power than there is to run out of petrol in a normal car. Of course, you can't charge electric cars from every house. Running charging leads across public footpaths simply isn't an option, but there are alternatives. Charging points next to parking spaces reserved for electric vehicles are springing up in lots of towns and cities. Multi-storey car parks are also putting in parking spaces with charging sockets. That means that you can charge up whilst you're at the shops or at the office. This car will do up to 85 miles, that's nearly 140 kilometres on a full charge. And here in England that can cost as little as 50 pence if you charge overnight and have signed up to a cheap night rate tariff. Worst case, that 85 miles of motoring is going to cost you about £2. Oh look, a petrol station. How quaint.